Hi everyone and welcome once again to my Minecraft Let's Play 1.4.5 we're on today. Um, actually it was updated because, and I noticed this because I was trying to play with some friends and the open to land was not working in 1.4.4 so it was driving me crazy. I thought there was something wrong with my connection or my modem or blah 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 and it was that there was a problem with the game. So they've updated that, they fixed it, so we're, we're on 1.4.5 today. So today I have a big... Um, Big job to do today. Big job. I want to try to make a mob spawner. Um, I don't know if it'll work, really. Um, I've read up a lot about them, all different kinds of... I mean, basically, they're all pretty much the basic same design, all of them. Um, you got to go up into the sky and build, like, a, I want to say, like a shaft that they fall down. So you have, like, a platform that's all closed and completely dark. And... You can have water running, um, sort of like a like a cross shape, you know, uh, water so that they fall in and they're pushed down into the shaft and fall to the bottom and you just kind of keep hitting them and you get the XP. So pretty simple, simple idea. Um, the problem is the distance away from you and the distance up and you have to light up caves down and blah, 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 crazy stuff. It's really not easy, um, especially if you're not in creative, obviously. It's really hard. So... I mean, it's tedious. Not that it's hard. Sorry. It's tedious. It's a tedious job. So, but we're going to try it. Um, what I'll do is I'll start building it, show you what I'm doing. Then I'll probably cut out to kind of finish certain areas, you know, so you're not completely bored with me building block by block by block. And, you know, it could take forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it over the water far over in this direction because this way I can just jump down and I won't get hurt. Right. So I think that's a pretty smart move on my part. And which I don't make too many smart moves, obviously. I kind of fall and get hurt many times. So <laughs> I've decided to kind of build it. Now, I've already prepared my inventory. As you see, lots of cobblestone. I prob might need more than what I have here. I don't know how many I'll need. Um, didn't really count the blocks or anything like that. So mm. we're just going to head out here um, far away from my, from my home because it seems like they spawn like, 24 blocks away, I think, is the number. Now, I don't know. What I don't know is if in 1.4 there have been changes in this whole, you know, interface with uh, mops or, or how they spawn or how they react and so on and so forth. I'm not really sure about that. I have really not a clue on that exact specific topic. So what I'm going to do is just build this item that I think can work. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't work. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, what I think can work and what seems the most um, feasible or doable um, at this point for someone who's playing in survival mode. Uh, an XP farm will really, really help me at this point because I, um, I basically need a lot of XP to continue enchanting and to be able to... The whole point here is we want to summon the Wither Boss and, and fight him. So that's where I'm trying to get after that, of course, we'll go for the Ender Dragon and all that. But this right now, this is a big goal of mine, is to get that Wither Boss and get the, um, he drops, uh, what does he drop? He drops something, I forgot now, that makes, that we can make the beacon. Gosh, I forgot what the item is, I apologize. But anyway, we have to kill the Wither Boss to make a beacon. And that's a whole cool new item in 1.4. So that's the whole point of this whole thing, really. That's what I'm trying to get to in my Let's Play. So let's uh, try to build this that it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to get started. Okay, um, let's see how good I, I can do or how quickly I can do it. It's probably going to take me a while, but, you know, just sit back, relax. Uh, I will do some commenting. So they say 24 above, but what I understand is you still have to go down and light up any caves that might be below here. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. Now, I don't know if I did one more. I don't know if it's 25. Um, I don't think that matters. Now, what, I, what I'm not sure is if I should go higher up to be significantly away so I don't have to worry about, about caves below. See, that's what I'm concerned because it's a big area that you would ha I would have to go down and light up to make sure that if there are any caves, I mean, that's a lot of work. It would take forever, so it wouldn't be worth it. So I wonder, what I'm understanding is like 144 blocks high is the area. I don't even know if I have enough cobblestone for that. I probably don't. 
um, so basically I want to make a shaft here of two by two and go up super high maybe like above the clouds right um, I'm not really sure that's pretty crazy that's pretty high um, Let's see, uh, that was the suggestion. Um, okay, I'm just counting. So we're at 40 now, just so I have an idea of how high this is. Wow, this will take me forever. We're at 50 now. Um, Wow, this is uh, this is this is crazy. Um, let's go up to sixty. Okay, it doesn't. See, twenty four is the number, um, like the distance I have to be away from the spawner, basically, for them to spawn. Um, then there's a large distance. I think it's like one forty, one forty four, where you really need to light up any kind of caves for everything to spawn in your area. Now I'm up 60 blocks, so we're at cloud level more or less. Um, whew, this is uh, this is crazy. Um, I probably won't be able to... I won't have enough cobblestone probably for all of this um, to make the shaft. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a shot at 60 levels up. Um, I'm only just trying... this means it would be less covered below ground so hopefully there are no caves down there there probably are but you know there's always open spaces obviously everywhere so let's see how well we can do with this so if I'm gonna make a shaft okay um, it's gonna be a two by two so here we go let's just make like the shape of the shaft I'm gonna make the good thing here is if, as long as they don't fall on that tree I'm pretty safe from uh, from falling to my doom so <laughs> Okay, so we got two, right, just make the two by two shaft, okay, that's what we're starting out with, okay, which I'm going to have to build up all the way up here, so that's going to be a lot of cobblestone, but let's do the best we can. Okay, I'm just doing this slowly, sorry. Okay, there we go, two by two. So this is like the shaft that they would fall down into, okay. Now, each side here, I want it to go out eight blocks, so this is two already. Three, four, five, six, <laughs> boring, seven and eight. Okay. So we're making like a T-shaped or a cross, sorry, cross shape here. And we're going up, we're going each side eight, okay. Um, this is where I'm going to build... Um, Wait a second. Uh, this is where I'm going to build a wall. Um, right. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. Um, right. I'm doing this right, right? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's see. I'm just wasting. Obviously, I don't need to make it. There we go. Okay. So this is how it would be, and this is 8, right? So it's, let me just count it to make sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, cool. Okay, and then this would be the end of it. Let's just make the end. Whoops, sorry. And this piece right here. Okay, so there we go. This is like one side of it. So we're going to do this three more times. So I am just going to go off, I'm going to stop the recording finish the whole um, cross shape okay so you see this is just one side and then I'll be right back okay so I'm back so I've done this cross shape with these like canals where I'm gonna put water so that the water pushes the mobs down my shaft okay so so far so good um, it's nighttime right now so okay so now what I'm going to do is where are the mobs gonna spawn they're gonna spawn here in these square areas and then w walk off hopefully fall into the water and go down the shaft that's how it's gonna work so let's see um, let's start this is what I have to do is fill all of this part in this is actually where they're gonna be standing or where they're gonna spawn this is the area these this part of the squ whole square and then hopefully they fall, like I said, into those canals that I've built. 
and and um, they will fall into the canal and get pushed down the shaft. So that's the idea of this mob spawner. And I really hope it works. <laughs> Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. We're almost, you know, slowly but surely. So I got to fill in. I'm just showing you how I fill in this area, what it's going to look like basically when I'm done. Um, and these will be walls, okay? Let me just do that right now. See? So then this whole area. See that? Of course, I'm, I'm going to make it higher. Um, I'm going to make it two blocks high so that, you know, skeletons, zombies, creepers, and spiders can spawn here. Um, Endermen are taller, and I don't really know. I think, um, I'm not sure if they would even spawn in this area, so I'm not going to worry about that right now, okay? Let's not, I could always change it later, you know, make it bigger or whatever. Let's just go with this, the basic, um, for now. Anything that gives me XP at this point, okay, is what I really am looking for. So let's just stick with that. So I'm just going to fill this in. See, and then build these walls around the whole thing, make it completely dark, and light up the outside of it so they won't spawn, like, on top of it. Because if you don't um, put light on the top, they can spawn on top. You don't want that. You want them to spawn in here. Okay. Um, let's see, we got a couple more blocks here. Okay. So, let's see, um, there we go, so just finishing this off, see, this corner so you can see when I'm finished how this looks and then I'll cut off for the rest of, you know, the other corners that I'm doing so you don't have to be bored with this, uh, I'm actually doing it very slowly, methodically, very slow, <laughs> being, being very careful not to fall even though it won't matter, I mean, it's not like I'm going to die, but I just don't want to have to come up here again, it'll take me forever, so. I want to just be careful about it. Okay, there we go. So what we have to do is repeat this all around three more times. So this is going to be where they spawn, okay? And they're basically going to fall down here. As they move around, they'll fall down here. Now, what I understand their behavior is they move around when I'm close. Um, so that means, I'm not really sure, actually, um, how that exactly works like why would I make it 24 away or the distance that it is if you kind of want them to move around so their behavior is kind of difficult for me to I haven't really gotten a full complete answer I'm guessing Mojang doesn't want you to know and they probably don't like these XP farms that everybody's building just for the fact that you know it's sort of like a cheat in the game I mean you know it's an adventure game Minecraft and you know, but it is going to help me a lot. So let's see. Maybe it doesn't work out, but I, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot and see if my design works. Um, and this is taken from all different designs I've found and ideas. Um, I went up higher than most people mentioned to go. I, I don't know if that helps or doesn't help. Um, I'm not really sure. So let's just see how it goes. And then what I would do is I'm just going to go up here just so you could see. I'm going to build a roof. Okay. Basically, this is the third, the third block. So, okay. So then, this would be all covered, enclosed, basically. Do I have enough? Uh, oof, I don't know. I hope I have enough cobblestone for all of this. I might not. I might have to go back and get some more. Uh, see, so I would cover this all up. It'd be super dark in here, and that's what we want. We want it to be super dark. So basically, that'll be it, like this. Try to sit on some cobblestone and not have to do put any on that wall. See, so I can close this whole thing. This whole area. I mean, the whole thing will be enclosed. That's what I mean. And remember, torches on top, because they can spawn right over it. That would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? That would happen to me for sure. Okay, so I'm just closing this up for now, just so you could kind of see. And then the rest of it, I'll just go off camera and finish the whole thing. Because this is one tedious job. Annoyingly tedious, so... Gosh, I really hope this works, guys, after all this work and all this time and all your time I've taken away from you. Because <laughs> if it doesn't work, it would be disappointing. So let's hope for the best. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's um, just continue over here. So the whole thing will be enclosed, but I'm just showing you this part. Um, let's uh, get this. Okay. Covering this all up. Hmm. Okay. 
right up to this canal that I'm going to put water in. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm going to just uh, show you this area. See, so all of it is going to be covered, the whole thing. And hopefully tons of mobs will spawn here. I'm hoping. And if not tons, some is still good. If something spawns and falls, it would still be an accomplishment. Okay, so basically cover the whole thing. So I'm going to keep working. I'm going to add these other three corners, right? And I'll enclose some of it, not all of it. And then we've got to put water, so I'll show you all of that. And then I've got to build the shaft. So I definitely don't have enough cobblestone. I'll have to come back. But hopefully I have enough to finish all of this. And then the shaft, I could just fall down and get some more cobblestone and work my way up again. Okay, so I'll be back in a, in a, in a sec. Okay, so I've covered the whole area. You see, I've done all the corners. So we've got one giant square with a cross in the center, kind of. Um, so let's add, I, I, I'm running out of cobblestone, so I'm going to have to head back and get more. So I'm not going to be able to cover the whole thing. Um, but I'm going to put some water down, okay, because that's the idea here, that it flushes the, the uh, mobs down the shaft. So let's put some water here. And the idea is the eight blocks is so that it, so that it reaches right to the edge and the water doesn't actually go down. Okay, so that's, it reaches right to the edge of the water. So, um, for instance, I could get, let's put, so we can get some more water here. Let's um, write something like this. Um, okay. Whoops. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I totally messed that up. Totally messed that up. I did that wrong. Um, doesn't matter. I'm going to get more water anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just put one then to put another one at the edge. So this is how all four of these uh, canals are going to have water going down here. And then this will be a shaft going down, and the mobs will fall, I hope. So now I'm going to fall, hopefully not to die, and I will go get some more cobblestone because... Really, I'm not going to have enough. I mean, I could keep working here and just add a little more. So, let's see. I messed up the water before. Sorry about that. Okay, um, just finishing off the cobblestone I have, but we need a lot more. So, here we go. Might as well use it all so I have more space to bring back more. Okay, and we just put this full roof on here, make sure it's totally dark, put torches on top, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, so let me just fall down. Ready, set, Geronimo! Ah! Ooh, nice. That was a nice, um, a nice fall. All right, so I'm going to head back and get some more cobblestone and supplies and get back to the mob spawner, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, it will work out. I'm still not 100% sure, but I hope so. Oh, infinite source of water. There you go. Um, one more bucket. Cool. Okay. All right, so I'll be back because you don't want to watch me just get some cobblestone and come back. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back again, and now I've got some more cobblestone, so I'm going to make, um, I'm going to continue the shaft up. Um, let's see if I can figure this out. I can, great. There we go. Okay. Can I jump up here? Good. And this will be, yes, I'll just head up here. And this will be part of the shaft, so I might as well every time I, if I have to keep going down for supplies or whatever, I just continue on the shaft that I'm going to have to build anyway. So let's just head up. This incredible, crazy, tall, whoa, whoa, there we go. One spider fell from there. That's a good sign, guys. <laughs> it almost killed me. But, no, actually, if I fell, I think I... Whoa! Whoa! All right, guys. Uh, I have to tell you, this is a pretty good sign right now. Two spiders fell from there. I'm pretty happy about that. All right. Um, it's too bad it's nighttime, actually, because that's going to make it harder for me to get up there. But pretty cool. I'm excited that uh, two spiders fell. That's definitely an awesome sign. Yay. Okay. A point for me. Yay. Give me one tiny little point. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep heading up. I hope they don't keep knocking me down. But anyway, I need to work on this shaft. So, yeah. So, it doesn't really matter. They could keep knocking me down until daylight because I need to build a shaft anyway at some point. So, 
am I doing this right? I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. That would be a waste if it's like right in the middle of the shaft and I have to break it again. Oh, how's my pickaxes? Oh, good. I do have a new one. I was worried that um, I was low and I don't have another one, so that wouldn't be helpful. Wow, two spiders fell. Cool. I haven't seen anything else fall, though, so I hope lots more spawn. Of course, it's only because it's nighttime. It's not closed. But hopefully, when we finish... There we go. Okay, so... Let me um, see here. Um, let's close this off, right? Since we're here. And we're there. And I have to get up there somehow, right? At some point. There we go. Okay, now let me just uh, carefully wiggle my way over here. Okay. So this part of the shaft is good, right? I have to break this to get up. I will replace it. Um, Come on. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Um, cool. I don't see any mobs right now, but two spiders fell. Remember, two spiders fell. That's a good sign. Okay, I've got tons of cobblestone now with me, so I hope. I definitely have enough to cover it up. For the shaft, I don't know if I have enough, but hopefully I do. I think I have a lot, so should be good. So I'm just going to close this whole thing off, okay? This whole square. I'm going to close it off. Um, add the water I need in the canals, like, and we'll see how it works. Oh, and I have to light up the top of it. Remember, I, I can't forget that. I can't forget. Light the top of it so they, they don't spawn on top. Obviously, at night, they would spawn on top. So we have to light the top of it up. Um, so let's just, let just jump up here. There we go. Okay, great. So I can continue this over here. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, you know, stop the video. I'm going to stop the video for a couple minutes so that I can finish this off because this is super boring to watch. So we're just enclosing the whole thing. Remember that. So, okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, everyone, I'm back again. And as you can see, I've completely closed it all off. I just barely had enough cobblestone. I've got only 23 left. So, but I do have some dirt I could use, too. It doesn't really matter. So, Anyway, so here we go. So this is done. Now what I have to do is get on top here. So on top of the um, on top of this structure. So I'm going to break that open. Okay, and we're going to just work our way. Oh, why did I do that? That was silly. Okay, and I'm going to put torches. Got quite a bit of torches all around. Okay, um, light up the top so that they do not spawn on top. Now I'm just going to do it randomly. I mean, you could do it all pretty if you want, but since I'm probably never going to come up here, I really don't care if it's like, and I'm not going to see it from a distance because I won't be flying anywhere. I don't have my electric jetpack in this uh, version of Minecraft, so just putting it randomly just to light it all up. Um, I have a lot of torches, so for now it's good so that they don't spawn on top here at night. Because obviously they would, and then that would be pointless. Um, like they're not going to fall into my shaft if they're up here. Oh, I used them all. Wow. Okay. So, let's head back down. Um, and what did I do here? Okay, let's take this block. And let us now cover this up. Awesome. Okay, so now I just have to work on my shaft um, that goes down, all the way down, and keep it dark in here. Uh, oh, i got to get my buckets. I probably need one more. Um, oh, what did I do there? Let's see. Um, this one. Uh, this side, okay. And let us just, we're not falling, because it will pull us down. And one more. Anyway, I have to come back for the shaft, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just have that work. And there we go. So they fall into these kind of canals. And oh, what did I do here? Silly me. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And they get flushed down the shaft. Okay, so I'm going to fall down and work. I need more cobblestone, so I'm going to have to get more. And work on making the shaft uh, all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to work on that right now to keep this nice and dark even in the daytime. So hopefully we'll get we'll get monsters spawned all the time. 
Okay, I'm going to jump in. Geronimo! No! Oi! I almost fell on that. Wasn't there like a block? Oh, I thought there was... <laughs> I thought I almost fell on a block. Um, I thought there was one block at the bottom. Hey, it looks pretty cool from here. All right. Well, I'm going to head back, so I'm going to cut the video and be back in a sec. Okay, so here I am building my shaft, right? And I hear a lot of monsters up there. The problem is I don't know why they're not falling down. Um, they sh oh, wait. There was one. One just fell. Did you see it? I just saw it fall. Um, I see them falling, like, you know, randomly. Not too many. Uh, a little slow. There's another one. Okay, okay. So our mob spawner is working. I'm excited. Um... The question is, will, look, there's another one. So this is a third. Oh, my gosh, guys. I am so excited that this worked. The only thing that I'm not sure is when we finish everything, and I'm down at the bottom waiting for, you know, all these guys to fall, and I can, you know, use my sword and get the XP. What I don't know is if they will be moving around much, and they will be falling off, because I think I have to be closer for them to actually, you know, react and move. So let's see how it works out once I actually... Um, you know, have the shaft done and everything. Um, see, now none are falling. Like, it's quite random and slower than I had hoped. Um, I don't know if it takes a while, if, um, I don't know really. I would hope that there were a lot more. But maybe, like um, I've read about and found out, there might be caves under here, under the water, straight down, that, that are, are, like, you know, that need to be lit up. So maybe I am getting some spawns, but not as much as I could, like a maximum, you know? It's very possible. So anyway, it looks like it's working. I'm very excited about it. So let's hope um, I can get this uh, get this done. And um, let's see if I did that. Did I do that right? I didn't even see if I did that right. I'm going to just go one block down. Yeah, I think I did, right? Um, hard to see now um, what I'm doing at night. Um, this is the opening, right? I'm trying to see if I'm placing the blocks correctly. Yeah. So this is where you go, right? Um, let me get back on this block safely and get some more blocks. Okay, I think I have enough now to finish the shaft. So going all the way down so it's nice and dark in there. And I did light up the top of it, so that's pretty good. Now, you see, now I don't hear any more monsters. I heard them for a while. It's like I'm close by, so maybe that's why they're not spawning. That's another thing. If I'm close, they do not spawn. So that's a possibility. Keep that in mind. If I'm close, they don't spawn. Okay, well, I'm going to go off camera and finish this whole shaft, which is going to take me a while because, like I said, I'm, I'm slow moving. But that's okay. Um, and as soon as I finish the shaft, um, we'll see how it goes. So I really hope this works. This is going to help me a lot, even if it's not like... A crazy amount of monsters but if I get some you know every couple minutes that's still gonna help and they'll be contained and it's easy to um, you know attack them with your sword they don't hurt you and you get a ton of XP so if this works out guys this will be great okay well thanks so much I'll be back in just a minute as I finish this because it's gonna take me a long time because I'm slow maybe I'll actually have um, get a, a can of coca-cola and have a drink and you know uh, take a little break in between <laughs> of my building. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hold on. Oh, see you in a minute. Bye. Hi, everyone. Okay, I'm back, and I'm working still on my mob spawner, and I think I did a pretty good job. The only problem is I think I made it too high. Um, for some reason, I just decided to be different. I thought if I made it higher, there would be less chance that there are caves underneath, like deep under the ocean here. And... I think that that's why people say it has to be like 24 blocks um, high, really, because I think that only when I get close do, is it, does anything actually drop. Um, they spawn when you're far away, I believe, like when I'm not nearby, but then, um, but then it seems like they don't, they must not move around in there. They're just still, and that's why they're not falling into like my, you know, my water trap or whatever you want to call it and so I don't know uh, I'm a little worried about that but okay this is not pretty but it doesn't matter I just want to finish it off and see how well I do here but as I get closer they start falling um, so you'll see that now um, how far are we pretty far still so I'm just closing off the shaft basically is what I'm up to uh, I might not have enough enough uh, dirt to finish, but let's see. So 
I'm just closing it off, but every time I get closed, well, I was down at the bottom and some monsters did fall, so let's see. I don't know, because now I don't see anything falling, so I think that's interesting that nothing's falling right now. Um, I'm not really sure. Probably, actually, they're not falling because they're not spawning because I'm too close. That's probably the reason. So let's see. When I close everything off and I go away for a while, I come back, there should be a whole bunch of mobs down at the bottom, like trapped, I hope. Let's see. We're getting close. So just finishing this off and see how well I did. But I have seen monsters definitely drop, uh, mainly skeletons and spiders. I haven't seen any zombies yet for some odd reason. I have no idea why. Oh, I was supposed to bring a bucket. Yeah, I did bring a bucket of water. Oh, it doesn't matter. I ran out of um, ran out of stuff here. So I got to head back down um, and get some more cobble. Oh, it's nice to have water at the bottom so I don't, <laughs> I don't get hurt. Okay, so I have to head out and get some more supplies. Um, I'll head into my mine here and just get some more cobblestone. I know the dirt doesn't look nice, but all I want to do is finish it off and see if it works. I could always come back and make it look all pretty. But anyway, it's ugly. What are you going to do? It's just this tower in the sky. It doesn't look nice anyway. So let's see if um, if we got some monsters in there when we get back. I hope so. Okay, so I'm just going to head down into my mine right now. Get some more cobble. Uh, just from anywhere. Um, I don't know, maybe one stack is enough, I hope. I could get a couple stacks. I was doing some branch mining, but I, really, I, only find, I only found some iron, so I didn't find any diamonds, but I was hoping. So it was a way I could get the cobblestone quite a bit quickly and maybe find some diamonds. But now I'm not looking. I'm too high up. I'm not looking for diamonds. I'm just, I just want to get the cobblestone now. So let's just get some cobblestone. What do we got? 36. Let's get a couple stacks, right, just to be sure. I've got water, the water bucket. Oh. There's some gravel, annoying gravel. Always, there's always gravel. Let's see if this works, this mop spot. I'm really interested to see if this works out for me. I hope so. It'll really help me boost my XP quicker. Then maybe I'll build like a little passageway so I don't have to go through the water every time. I mean, I could just have a boat, right, to come back and forth. That would be kind of neat, actually. Here we go, some XP. Already level 5. Woohoo! Yeah, wow. I'm really moving now. <laughs> I need a lot more than that. Need to use my diamonds for armor. We need to get some good stuff going here. So we can fight that wither. And I am scared. Okay. Let's just finish off this uh, this vein of coal. So we have we have one stack already, so that's good. Oh, this is mossy. Huh. Oh, there's a spawner, there's a chest! Yes, I can't believe I'm recording. That's like amazing. And I don't have any torches with me. Ah, Awesome! Let's get the spawner before before it spawns anymore. Okay, cool. Oh, nice! That was so lucky. That was total luck because I just randomly started just, you know, mining in a place that I normally wouldn't mine. Oh my gosh, a chest! Two chests! Whoa! What is happening here? Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Oh, in this corner. It's because it's so dark, guys. I hope you can see. But I do not have any torches. Whoa! Oh no, there's a bunch of them here. Okay. Just gonna close that off. I can close this off, right? Yeah. Move over, buddy. Okay, got him. Nice. Okay, let's uh, close this off so no, none of them come back. Whoops. I hope you guys can see because I don't have any torches. I didn't come. Look at my head. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm full of arrows all over. They shot me in the eye <laughs> and my ears. In my legs? That was awful. Oh, I have one torch. I have one torch. Yay. I can light it up just a bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, guys. Chests. Please. Some good stuff. What do we got? Redstone I don't care about. I don't care. Oh, yay. We got a saddle. All right. We can make carrot on a stick. We can ride them pigs around. All right. <laughs> Awesome! That was a good find! Alright, I'm so excited! The minute I saw Mossy, co mossy Cobblestone, I was excited. Alright, another saddle! Awesome! Iron, string, buckets. Okay, let me get rid of some stuff here. Um, I don't want those lily pads. 
Let's get these empty buckets can always be helpful. And I don't need this wheat, so let's take the iron. Okay, that was pretty nice find. Yay, look at that. Cool. Actually, I'd like to take the chests with me too. So let's get rid of ooh, pumpkin seeds. Um, let's see. Um, what should I? Just this gravel. I can't stand this gravel. Okay, let's get this. Uh, let's get this. Let's get this chest. It's going to take forever. I don't have an axe. Let's take the chest with us. I can use some extra chests. Let's get rid of... What, what did I get rid of before? Gosh. Um, I got rid of the gravel. Of course, now Lily. There we go. We got our chest. Now let's take this one with us. Awesome. What was, can you, even though I know they're easy to make, but I like to take them with me. All right. We were lucky, guys. Awesome. I like this mossy gravel, actually. I should take this with me. Why not? This is awesome. I can't believe it. That's not something you normally find. I mean, that was really hidden away, that little mossy, that little chest room. So that was pretty lucky, and I can't believe I was recording because I did a little mining just to get uh, cobblestone without recording before. So I was lucky there, really lucky. I like this uh, mossy cobblestone. I like the way it looks. So let's grab this. Okay, let's head back to our spawner. I hope it's working out for us. Okay, just getting these last ones. Whoa. I shouldn't have opened this. Because I don't have any light. Okay, I'll see cobblestone. Okay, I'm out of here. Oh, it's so dark. I can't, I can barely see, and you guys probably can barely see. There we go. Light it up. All right. Okay, let's head back up. I opened that area that probably a ton of monsters are going to come. Whoa. What's this guy doing here? What are you doing in my... I left the door open. Okay, there we go. Well, we got our enchantment level up to 10. That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty impressive. So, not too bad. Just in mining and, you know... Um, the monsters that fell from my um, wonderful XP farm that I hope works. Okay, let's head back to my XP farm. I will make a passageway that goes all the way there, so it's much faster to get there. Or, like I said, I can just use the boat. See that one part there that's open? we got to close that up. Then I do have to go up to the top and put one more, um, one more bucket. And then it'll be perfection. I hope it works. Now, I could open it up here and see if there's any monsters. I closed it completely just because I did, but of course I have to open it. Nothing in there. Nothing in there so far. Okay. So let's just uh, work our way around. No, open this area. So they should get caught. Or I should actually um, make it. No, but they need the water so they don't like die, right? I don't know if I'm doing this exactly. I have to check this way. Because I think that they can hurt me. If they're standing in the water, they can actually hit me. So this is not the best. I got to do this differently. I probably should make it one more. No, no. Um, I want to see their feet. That's the right, right way, but I want them to fall in the water. So one more up I should do it, right? Probably. Anyway, let's head up there and just finish off what we were doing. Um, let's see. Let me just put a cobblestone here. And let's see how we're doing up there. Okay. Actually, not this corner. Which is the corner that I think over here, right? Am I on the right side? Okay, yeah, there I put cobblestone. Let's just, uh, there we go go here. Okay, let's head back up and see what's left of my shaft. I'm not sure the bottom, I'm doing something wrong. I gotta look at it again and rethink it there. Um, I want them to fall into water so they don't, you know, just die, but um, it has to be that their feet are only showing, right, so I don't get killed. by Like, they can't attack me, is what I'm thinking, so... Okay, it's um, almost done, almost done here. Okay, some more, co some more cobblestone, I got quite a bit. Okay, there we go. So now we can just close this off, right? Okay, let's see. Let's 
we can reach there, great. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Just uh, close this off. Nice. Okay, now let me put a block here so I can stand. Whoa, almost fell. Okay. There we go. And last bits here. Okay, I think it's all closed. Um, I'm not sure really, but I think it's all closed. Okay. So you can see the water there dripping a little bit. Okay, so now what I want to do is go into the area. I don't want the water to fall, so I'm going to go a little bit out, right? Is this good? Um, into the spawning area, kind of. Okay. And wait, let me eat up and see how low my food level was. And let us go... Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. That was silly. Okay. There we go. Okay, now it's lit up. Okay, now I want to put one more bucket of water right here. There we go. So now everything is even. Okay, this is my spawning room. And I broke a hole, right? Where did I break the hole? Here we go. So, there we go. I think we are ready. And I just want to make sure that this is completely closed. I think so. I think it is. So let's fall down the shaft and hope for the best, because I think we are ready. And I know I have torches up on top. Should I just make sure? I did put a bunch of torches on top. Let me just make sure. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, we got torches on top, so that's good. Okay, and close it up again. And let's just, once again, Geronimo! Ah! Oof. Oof. Okay. So, let me get out of here. Get out of here and close. Whoa. Let's close that up. Um, right here. Okay, so it's all ready. The problem is down here. I only want to see their feet. I want them to fall in water. Let's see what I'm doing wrong here. I'm doing something wrong. This setup is not correct. Um, I'm just going to close this off. I'm going to take this away. Hmm. Uh, I want to only see their feet, but if they fall and they're standing there, I will see their faces, not their feet. So, whew. okay, I'm like totally at a loss right now. I got to think a little bit. So actually, let's just go away, right, and see if something spawns because it's ready to work. Um, as far as I know, I did everything I was supposed to, but they won't spawn if I'm there, remember. So I'm just going to go away for a while, and then we'll head back and see if we have anything in the shaft. Now, they were falling when I was going. Every time I would go near there, like going upwise, they were falling, so I know that they start moving when I get closer. So otherwise they're like static, they just kind of stand around. So, well, let's see, let's see how it works out. Okay, right now I'll do a little home improvement here. Um, let me just go ahead and, there's lots of XP with these guys around actually. This is a lot of XP, these, these slimes are great. Okay, now we have the saddle, so we have to find a pig, and there are no pigs nearby. I did see them when I was exploring, but it's far, wherever they are. I remember. Okay, no more space in my... Let's head in here and just get... I have so much stuff. Let's head all the way up. I have all these chests here. Okay, uh, let's put pumpkin seeds, moss, stone, string... Arrows and bones, gunpowder, slime balls, two chests, um, two saddles, which are great. I'm excited about that. Bread. And we'll just leave our buckets too, because I don't need those right now. A bunch of bows that they dropped. Some bow water buckets over here. And that's about it. So let's, um, let's see. Let's head back. Okay. I'm going to head back to, to my farm. Um, let's see how my farm's doing. Let's just go ahead and pick some items. 
Wow, this nether wart is ready to be picked, all fully grown. I haven't been here in a while, so let's just take care of that. Okay, nice. And then we can we can replant again. So we got 44, that's pretty good. And we'll replant. It's only 16 we need to replant, so we got 44, so that was great. Okay, and now let's get our melons. Wow, all of them are ready to be picked. The pumpkins are ready. Great. Oh, I broke the stem of this one. Oh, that was a shame. Okay. Um, but I have melon seeds, so that's okay. There we go. So that one will grow, hopefully. And let's get these pumpkins. Cool, we got a whole bunch of pumpkins. Now, once you get a couple pumpkins, it's easy. You can get the whole farm going. Whoops. Pumpkins. And last pumpkin. Okay. Great. Oh, there's a melon. Did that just grow right now? I think it did. Okay. Awesome. So we picked everything we needed. Now let's get um, sugar cane. Some sugar cane. Okay. Just cleaning up the farm a bit. Oh, everything's ready here. Look at these carrots are ready. I have to till the soil again. Okay, plant some more carrots. We can make the carrot on the stick. Remember that. That'll be fun with the uh, with the pigs. All of this is ready to be picked. Almost all of it. We need to make another hoe. Um, so all of this, I'm just kind of, you know, away from the spawner for a while, and then I'm going to head back. Just in a sec, we'll head back. Just working here on the farm. Working on the farm, working all day long on the farm. Here we go. Okay, great. Nice. Now, I do need to make a hoe. Um, let's see. Uh, it's too bad I don't have... I don't have sticks or anything. I'm so unprepared. Here we go. And no iron. Do I have any iron? Where is the iron? I mean, I know I have a lot of iron. I mean, I could just use stone. Do I have? Yes, I do. So let's just make one with stone for now. That's okay. Okay, so a hoe is what we need. You can tell the soil there. Whoops, what am I doing? Whoops, what am I doing? Wrong item. There we go. Stone hoe. Okay, now it's nighttime, so let's just head off to sleep. And then we're going to head out there to the spawner and see how it's going. So hopefully, hopefully we got a lot of monsters there. Just going to till this soil, right? It's just... Okay. I don't know why that happened. I thought that I had stuff growing, but I must not have. Okay, so what I want to put? Just seeds. I want to put seeds down. For more wheat. But oh, we have a ton of wheat, really. But I like to see it grow, actually. I don't even need more weed. I just like to see it grow. So let's get this all nicely planted. Okay. Oh, there's some seeds that fell in here. In the water. Gosh, I really hope that spawner works. I'm a little hesitant to get over there. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. We've got everything planted except some carrots here. There we go. Carrots are all planted. We've got more melons and more pumpkins. Okay, well, we're good. So let's head back to the spawner and see how it's going. See if anything has happened there. Um, I don't see anything at all from here. But like I said, they don't move around until I get closer. So let's see. Hmm. Maybe that's why it has to be 24 high. Maybe I made it too high, and what will happen is anytime I want them to spawn, I'll have to go close. I mean, not spawn. I can't be close for them to spawn. I'm sorry. That sounds confusing. For them to move around, I need to be close. That's what I meant. I used the wrong word there. Okay, I don't see anything. So weird, because I did see quite a few falling. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I only have 13. That's not enough. I'm not going to make it up there. 13 is just not enough. I need more cobblestone to get closer. Yep, I need more cobblestone. Um, 
I have to go get some more. Hmm. Nothing. It's odd. I'm not really sure what's going on. If I did it, if I did it wrong, or okay, let me head back and let us just. Um, I wonder if I need to light up the shaft on the outside, if that matters. I mean, they wouldn't spawn outside, obviously, but I'm not really sure. Okay, let me get my pickaxe. I'm just going to get some cobblestone right here. I don't need very much, so let's get up there. Let's just get some cobblestone here. There we go. Don't need very much, just like, I don't know. We need a stack even. Oh, there's some iron. Well, I'm going to grab that. I might as well. I'm here. So I might as well grab some, some iron. That's good. Always comes in handy because we want to make those iron golems. That will be next. Iron golems. But you need a lot of iron for one of them. You need, what is it, 9 times 4, right? 36? Oh, gosh. Aquarius. Just visiting my little doorway. Okay. Cool. So let's head up. Okay, let's get back to my to my spot. Oh wait, there's a creeper, but only one. See, and it's not good the way he is. I gotta figure out the right way so he falls in the water, but I only see his feet. Hmm. I have to make it higher. I think that's my problem. There he is. There he is, one, but I want more than one, guys. All right, we got one. But this is not an awesome spawner. I mean, we got to get more of these. This is what's happening here. Okay, how many do I have? Uh, only 41 cobblestone. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to make it higher and put water, and this way I could be standing on the outside and be able to reach. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let us, let me just go up there, okay, and see if that matters right now. If I go up, okay, so I just want to be able to use, because I don't have very much cobblestone. Okay, so let's head up. I don't know if it matters. I think that they will fall more if I'm nearby. I think that's because they move more. But they won't spawn if I'm nearby. That's pretty much how it works. So, And if there are any caves underneath, of course, less will spawn because there are caves underneath that need to be lit up. Like underneath the water, I'm talking about in that whole area. It's a huge area that needs to be... Okay, I'm just getting closer for a couple minutes and see. But I mean, I shouldn't have to do this every time. Then it's not a very good spawner. Okay, I think I'm close enough. No? Oh, I hear them. Guys, do you hear them? I hear a bunch of monsters now. Are they falling? How would I even know? I have to go down. See, but this is not going to be right. Like, I didn't do it right then. Hmm. Let's see. But you know, you have to kind of test out and see what is best and see what works out best for you. Now, I'm going to mention something that I think, um, I mean, you might be in a world and you might, um, you might try this like I'm doing over water or wherever you do it, a certain distance away from your home, and it might not work out like mine. I've noticed that people complain, you know, they watch videos about spawners and things and they're all leaving comments like, oh, you know, it didn't work for me, it didn't work for me. It just really depends on the biome and if there are any caves underneath. Maybe you have large caves underneath, you know, that are not lit up. Lots of things matter. It's not just that it's going to work out for you now. I mean, it looks like it's working for me. The only problem is it's not like spawning a huge amount, which is what I need. And But the idea is working. It's just I probably need to find a better way of, like to perfect it. And it looks like I need to get close for them to move and fall. So let's see if there are a bunch now down there. And that wouldn't make too much sense. Oh, here we go. What do we got down here? I'm excited. Whoops. Wrong button. What do we have here? Oh, it's only two guys. I mean, I was hoping it'd be more than two. I mean, two's good. Don't get me wrong. But I need an XP farm. I need a lot more than this. So, and now I can't get in there, obviously, because I need to 
there we go. There's a carrot. Huh. So I think that they're pretty much static if you're not close. They don't spawn if you're close, and then when they do spawn, they'll be static until you get close, something like that. So I do need to perfect this, obviously, um, but I wanted to show you this. I wanted to show on my video, I think it's, it's okay to show a little experimentation, not just the finished, hey, I know how to do this and I'm the expert because I really am not. And if you want to, please, please leave me a comment if you have any ideas, if you made an XP farm yourself, if you have a suggestion for me, um, if you think, you know, just all the different suggestions together can really help. Um, in the next episode, I hope to really um, work on this a little more and fix up. We'll also definitely, in the next episode, we'll be making iron golems, okay? I think I have quite a bit of iron now. Uh, I have iron ore still saved up and quite a fit, bit already smelted. Iron ingots, so we're ready to make a couple iron golems now that we have our pumpkin heads. Or pumpkins, actually. They're not pumpkin heads. They're pumpkins. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you had fun. And I'm sorry, it's just a little more of an experimentation episode. But I always think that's good as well to watch on YouTube. Like, if you're watching a Let's Play in a whole series, I think experimentation can be can be interesting to watch how other people go approach other ways of, of making things, such as the spawner, which right now is not really working out. But I will figure it out. Hopefully, I'll figure out exactly what I'm doing or or the better way to do this. And if I have to redesign the whole thing, that's okay. So anyway, I hope you guys like this episode. Um, I hope you like my Let's Play. I hope you're having fun with me. And please join me. Please subscribe if you want to know when I'm putting out new episodes. And please like if you enjoyed the episode. really helps me out. So see you in the next episode, guys. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.